What's up guys? It's Sydney. This is your 50 minute full body strength workout. So grab your dumbbells and let's get started. What's up guys? I'm so excited that you're here today for our 50 minute full body strength workout. So pumped to get into this low cardio but more dumbbell and kettlebell strength workout with you today. So if you have a kettlebell, you can go ahead and pull it out. If you don't, no worries, you're gonna use your dumbbell and I'll show you exactly how to do that. But also, if you're interested in the one that I use here, I have an adjustable Bowflex kettlebell. So it can go anywhere from four up to 40, or eight to 45 pounds. So if you're interested, I'll link that in the description below, but make sure you have your water and your sweat towel and your dumbbells. For dumbbells, I'm gonna go anywhere from 10 up to, maybe up to my 30 pound dumbbells. Okay, so just your medium to medium heavy range today. We've got a good workout ahead of us and I'm so pumped to get into it with you. Thumbs up and let's jump into the warm up. All right, three, two, one, let's go, right here. Good, let's open up the quads. I know we worked them hard yesterday. Not too much quad work today, don't worry. Got a lot of glute and upper body and abs. Three, two, and one, let's go down in the front. There we go. Stretch out your hamstrings and your glutes. Perfect. Take your right arm up to the sky, twist your core. Down and switch, good. Down and switch. Down and switch. Good, one more each side. Switch. And last one. Perfect, take your feet out just a bit wider and let's go one leg straight, one leg bent. There we go. Inner thighs feeling good, right? <laughs> Whew. Three, two, one, and slowly come on up. Make your way up to the top and let's stretch out the hamstrings a little bit more with some high kicks. There we go. So we're starting off with an upper body move, then we've got some abs, lower body, abs, and we'll rotate throughout the whole workout. Okay, full body strength today. Lots of different breakdowns, so we'll have circuits, we'll have supersets, and we'll have straight sets. Good, all right, take your feet nice and wide, big push forward, there we go. Take it to the side, to the side. Perfect, for this one I like to put my hand on my hip, open it up this way. Good, three, two, one. All right, let's take it over, tap back. Okay, just a little bit of lateral movement here. There you go, activating your leg muscles. Three, two, in one, and let's go big backward circles. Amazing, make sure you're reaching up, get a big range of motion. Instead of just going fast, reach high. And let's go forward now. Same thing, reach high, even take a little back arch. Good, now hands straight up, let's go back and open. Beautiful. Three, two, and one. Hands down on the floor. Let's take it to a high plank, right here. Okay, now drop it down to your elbows. Just pull your ribs up and in. Push back and forth. That's it. Four, three, two, one, and come on up. Let's go ahead and get started, all right? So, first move, we've got a curl press and calf raise. I'm gonna go with my 15 pound dumbbells here first, okay? So, hammer curl, right here. Press, calf raise at the top. Down, okay, from the side, curl, press, calf raise. All right, so, grab your dumbbells, we're gonna go in, we'll start in 15 seconds together, okay? Three rounds of this one. Okay, I'm gonna use 15s for round number one. 
All right, let's go in eight, seven, 30 seconds right here. Two, one, let's go. Curl, press, lift, and I really want a good squeeze in your calves here. Nice job. And on that calf raise, make sure your core is tight, okay? So you're not here, straight up. Seven. Four, three, two, one. 15 seconds, can you go up and wait? Same thing, two more rounds. We're starting with a straight set, meaning all three rounds of the same move before we move on, okay? Round two in four, three, two, one, let's go. Nice, get up to the top, lock it out. Nice work, 15. Almost there. Four, one more, three, two, one, and rest. All right, can you do it? Can you go up? I'm gonna try it with you. All right, go up to my 25s, and we go for our last round in four. Ready? Three, two, one, come on. Nice job. Keep your glutes and your core tight on that calf raise. There we go, 12. You're right there, come on. Five, four, three, two, one, and rest, beautiful. All right, dumbbells back. And don't worry, I know this is a longer workout. We're gonna keep moving, but you'll have time to breathe, okay? Next move, bicycles on the floor. Okay, we're gonna start with bent leg. Okay, we're gonna progress each time. So round one, you're here, crunched up. Round two, you're upright. Okay, and round three, we're flat again, straight leg. Okay, so grab some water. We'll go in 10 seconds. Flat on your back, bent legs. Ready? Four, three, crunch up. Two, one, let's go. 30 seconds right here. Beautiful. Last 15, support your head, breathe. Six, five, come on, four, three, two, one, good job. Now come on up seated. You have options here, okay? Keep your heels down, twist, or float your heels, twist, okay? Heels down will help you out a little bit. Let's go together. Two, one, here we go. Control, it's all at the top of the glute. You're sitting right here and twist. 15, good work. Nine, you're right there, come on. Six, five, two, one, perfect. Lay it back. Now we go to the straight leg, okay? So you're gonna crunch up, legs start here, twist, twist. Ready? <sighs> Two, one, let's go. Good, keep that tailbone driving to the floor. Come on, 15. Good, seven. Three, two, one, and breathe. I always feel like I have to roll away from 
bicycles. <laughs> Grab some water. We're gonna move on to a superset, okay? If you have your kettlebell, go ahead and pull it out. We've got kettlebell swings and a little plank shoulder tap drop down. All right, so kettlebell swing. If you have a kettlebell, you're gonna start it out in front of your feet, heels planted, scooping the kettlebell back right between your thighs. It is a hinge move, so back and forth, not up and down, okay? It's like a RDL, Romanian deadlift. Okay, so you scoop straight back, drive. Back between your thighs and drive, okay? So we'll start there in 10 seconds. After that, we're going for a plank, and I'll show you how to do that when we get there, okay? All right, swinging, kettlebell or dumbbell. Two, one, let's get it. I think one of the most important things about kettlebell swings is that you don't fight it too hard, okay? So you don't try to make your back swing way back here. You don't try to sit down and then kind of flip it up. You just go with the momentum. Butt squeeze and straight back. Four, three, two, one, good. Kettlebell out of the way or dumbbell, okay? We're going into a plank. Shoulder, tap, drop it down, come up, okay? Tap, tap, down, down, up, up. Ready? Let's go. Keep your hips nice and steady. Looking right down at the ground between your two thumbs. There you go. Stay with me for 10. Four, three, two, one, and rest. Good. We're back to the swings. Okay, it's the same thing with the dumbbell. You're just holding differently. <sighs> Ready? Big deep breath. Three, two, one. Come on. Good. Feel that hip power? Comes from the glutes. Squeezing together, okay? No need to go here with your glutes, right here. Okay, squeeze in a neutral spot. Three, two, one, rest. Back to the plank, great job. Now for myself, I noticed last round I was moving my right hand first, so I'll go here and here. Now I'm gonna move my left hand first, okay? Two, one, let's go. Good, just keep challenging yourself. No matter what, feet are wide, you're balanced, you're just trying not to dip your hips over and back, okay? Ten. Good job, come on. Five. Four, three, two, and one. Good. Whew. Last round of swings. What I was saying is when you're swinging, make sure you're not here, okay? You squeeze the glutes here, okay? Together, not forward. Let's go. That's it, come on. Okay, last 15, squeeze harder. Dig those heels down, come on. Three, two, one, and rest. One more round of our plank drop downs. Let's start moving the right hand first for our first 15 seconds. Then we'll go with the left hand for the last half. Ready? Right hand, two, one, come on. Tap, down, and up. Good, now switch hands when you come up. Let's go.
Good, keep moving, keep moving. Seven, six. And rest. Beautiful work. Grab some water and breathe. I hope you're doing great. Whew. Someone said the other day, you know you're working out with Sydney if you just let her answer how you're doing. You know how I'll ask you like, how you doing, good? Okay, perfect. Just keeping it in your mind. <laughs> Grab some water. Ah. Okay. We move on next to another superset. Bent row and glute kickback and a standing crunch, okay? I'm gonna go for my 15s here, okay? So we're hinging, lifting one leg, okay? So you'll hinge forward, row, come back up and switch, okay? Hinge forward, row, come back up. If you're modifying, I want you to hinge back still, back foot on the ground, row, and then lift, then stand, okay? So either way, one glute gets a little kickback action in there. All right, let's go in 10 seconds. I've got my 15s, five, three, two, one. Here we go, hinge and lift. Now the lift can be after the row or during. Depends on your balance. Maintain your core. Right, belly button over the heel on the floor. Great job, you've got five. Three, two, one, rest. And I'm gonna take one dumbbell right here, just to the side. Okay, left leg only. Leaning here, I'm getting my ribs down towards this hip. Ready, three, Two, one, right here. Beautiful. That's it, exhale to squeeze. Think about your ribs going up to your hip as well. Three, two, one, good work. All right, we're back. Bent row and kick back. If you felt good on that weight and you wanna go up, let's do it. Ready? Three, two, one, let's hinge. Good. Keep the leg that goes back flexed as well. Okay, so it's not back there just kind of like floating around. Keep it flexed, okay? Then pull your core in. Beautiful, seven. And rest, good. Whew. All right, core over to the other side. So right elbow to right knee. You can also do this body weight if that helps. Okay, here we go. Two, one, exhale. Good. The little pause at the top really helps. Ten, nine, three. Two, one, rest. Good. Okay, last round. If you feel like you can go up, let's try it. I'm gonna go to my 20s. Okay, gotta maintain my balance. Let's go in four. Three, two, one, come on. Think shoulder blades together. Don't pull them up to your ears. Back to the middle. Beautiful, come on, full body strong. Legs, glutes, back, core. Nine. Three, one more, two, one, rest. Beautiful. Now take the dumbbell that you were using at first, 
right here in the center. Okay, pull the ribs in and open. Two, one, let's go. Good. Think about pulling something from the ceiling down to your belly button. Great work, seven. Two, one, rest. Great job. I was focusing there. All right, grab water. You're doing great. All right, next move. You're doing all right? Okay, good. There I go, I go again, just answering you. Inchworm, six mountain climbers, okay? All of these are gonna be without a dumbbell. So you go out, inchworm, give me three each leg, okay? That can be fast or tapping. You walk back in, before you lift your hands up, you go back out for six, okay? After that, we've got a Superman. Hold, squeezing glutes and back to lift, okay? This one's gonna be 45, 45, three rounds. No rest in between, okay? So longer work periods. All right, so let's go in. Three, two, one, come on. Walk it out before you have time to think about it. <laughs> Give me six, back to your toes. You've got 45 seconds here. Good, keep either your arms or your legs moving at all times. And make sure you get all the way to the plank before you start your climbers, okay? 15 seconds and you lay your stomach right down for a Superman hold, okay? Seven. Get ready, here we go, three, two, one, lay it down and lift hold. Good, pulling your arms in a little closer will make this easier. Straight out front makes it tougher. What doesn't change? Glutes are squeezing together. Your low back is pushing your hips into the floor. Okay, arms can do whatever you would like. Closer makes it easier. Forward and away from your body makes it harder. Great job, you've got about 20 seconds. Good, squeeze harder, lift your chest up a bit more for 10 more seconds. 10, nine, up, eight, seven. We go right back into your inchworm mountain climbers in four, three, two, one. Come on, inchworm it back, just breathe and go again. Here we go, 45 right here. Perfect, you got this, come on. You're doing great. <sighs> 20 seconds. <sighs> come on, you're right there, 10, nine. Walk it back out, five, four, Lay it down, Superman, in two, one, and we're up. Good, let's go straight out to the side with your arms in a T first. Squeeze the glutes, lift the chest, lift the quads. Good job, now I'm gonna switch your angle. 45 degrees out, okay? Here you go. Squeeze again. Great job. Last 15 seconds, let's go right ahead. Pull elbow back to ribs, right here. Beautiful. You're right there, six, five, four, two, one. Okay, last round, here we go, come on. Last round of both, you got this. We've got this. I know you're feeling it in your arms. Try to think about your core now. Instead of being up here for your climbers, pull your ribs and hips in together. There you go. 
Come on, walk it out. You got about 20 seconds left on this one and you're done with these. Then we move on to the last round of Superman. Keep it up, 10, nine. That's it, four, three, two, one. Lay it down, squeeze the glutes, lift it up. Good. All right, let's go out to the side. Up, up, up. Good, thinking elbows back to your tailbone. Beautiful. Good, let's go 45 degrees. Middle, out, middle, out. You're gonna feel this in your upper mid back. Neutral head. Good, now give me that elbow pull, lat pull down. 14, 13, 12. Squeeze those glutes, come on, up. Seven, five, four, three, two, one, and rest. <laughs> Beautiful job. And grab some water. You're doing fantastic. All right, and we're moving on. Good work. All right, so next move, sumo deadlift to front raise. You've still got just a couple seconds to rest here. Right. All right, so my 220s, I'm gonna do, this is the only quad dominant exercise I'm gonna give you today, I promise, okay? So we're gonna go up, two dumbbells, okay? Sumo squat here, not deadlift, I said deadlift, I meant sumo squat, okay? Sumo squat, you come up, you go down, you release one, give me a forward lift for your anterior delts, right here. Back down, grab two, release one, lift, okay? So sumo squat, release one, grab one with both hands, lift right to the front. You're targeting anterior deltoid here, okay? So let's go in 15 seconds, grab the weights you wanna use. I've got two 20s, all right? And we've got three rounds straight of this one. Ready? Four. Three, two, one, let's get it. Up for two, sit it down. Stand and then lift. Good job. Nice rounded elbow here, okay? So it's not locked out. Good, I'm gonna give you time on this one. You got 15 more seconds. Great work, come on. Five, three, two, one, and rest. Now leave those dumbbells right here, okay? We've got toe taps on top of them. Here, you're going around, okay? If you're taking it low impact, just tapping, giving me a good intensity. Ready? Let's go. Now, if you don't want to tap on the dumbbells, find a spot and just go around it. Semi-circle around it, okay? Let's go. Get your arms moving. You've got 45 seconds here as well. A good, long, steady push for this superset. Good job, come on, touch, touch, touch. 15, light on your toes. Good. You're doing this for you. We are doing this for us. Three, two, one, breathe. Now, if you wanna go up and wait, let's do it. I'm gonna stay here for one more round, then try one round three to go up, okay? Listen to your body. Five. Same thing, three, two, one, let's go. Stand up with two, sit one down, shoulders. Good. Beautiful work. 
Now this is mainly focused on the weight that challenges the shoulder. I know this is probably not your max squat deadlift weight or squat conventional deadlift weight. And that's okay, we did legs pretty hard yesterday. I'm not looking for a leg max out here. Just mainly this shoulder push right here. Five, four, three, two, one, rest, good. Okay, back to it, toe touches. A little longer, 45, degree, or 45 seconds on this cardio. Just breathe and move, getting some good calf action here. Three, two, one, let's go. Get your arms pumping. That's it, come on. Good, you got the energy still? Keep it up. We're in the last, pretty much third of the workout here. Okay? Don't compromise how hard you're working. Not yet. We're too far from that. You're too far invested right now to slow down. You've given way too much already to compromise what else you could get out of this workout. Keep going. There we go. Come on. Three, two, one. All right. Now, you wanna go heavier? Let's do it. If not, stay right there. Listen to your body. Challenge it. I know it's the end of the week also, so listen to it. Here we go. Three, two, one. Come on. Beautiful. Good control in that lift. Okay, so make sure it's not a whoop, not a swing, just a lift. Chest level and we're back down. Beautiful work. 15 seconds. That's it. You're doing great. Come on. Six. Three, two, one, and rest. Good, all right. If you went up in dumbbells like me, make sure the other ones are out of the way. Okay, last round. 45 seconds of our circle toe taps. And we're going in three, in two, in one. Let's do it. Let that sweat fall. You've earned it. Arms are working right here. Come on, I'm in this with you. How do you get quicker? Pull your core in. Get the arms going quicker. Arms and legs will follow each other. Okay? Keep moving. 15. Beautiful. Tap, 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 tap. Six, five, three, two, one, and breathe. Very proud of you. Whew. Great work, grab some water. You're like, gladly. I sure will grab some water. Don't have to tell me twice, right? Whew. All right, so five exercises left. We're almost there, very close, okay? So we've got 30 seconds, three rounds of each one. All right, we move into some core, then we move into some isolation for the upper body. I know we really pushed lower body yesterday. I'm gonna rest it a little bit, okay? So we go, dumbbell, toe touches, slow open crunches, and seated twists, okay? So I'm gonna use my 15 to start with. I'll show you all three moves, and then we'll go together. Okay, so first move, toe touches, legs are up in the air. You're aiming to get shoulder blades up. Okay, second one, we've got open, cr slow open crunches. Okay, so we're here. If you can hold a dumbbell, that's fine. If you can't, also fine. Slow open, slow close. Slow open, slow close. The last one, seated twist, here, up, here, up, okay? If you're not using a dumbbell, it's a straight arm. Here, up, 
okay? Eight seconds, we start with our toe touches. Ready, feet up. Three, two, one, and here we go. Shoulder blades at least. If you can step it up and even get your low back up, that's great. Okay, another modification is here. All right, it's just a crunch. Upper ribs down towards your hip. Two, one, and rest. And now we go for that slow open crunch, okay? If you're using a dumbbell, fine. If not, also fine. Take it slow. Ready? Four, three, two, one. We start here and we open. Nice and slow. Good. 10. Seven, two, one, rest. Oh, sorry, that was dramatic. <laughs> Slim my feet down. Okay, now we go twist, okay? So we're here, here, big rainbow arch over. Ready? Let's go. Fifteen. Five. Three, two, one. Rest. <sighs> All right. Now we go 45 seconds for each one. Okay. So toe touches first. Four, three, Two, one, let's go. 45. Good quality over a million reps here, really fast with low challenge, okay? I'd rather you squeeze up and feel this so hard in your core than just be doing a lot of this, okay? Exhale, squeeze in super hard. Good. 15 seconds. That's it. Seven, six. Two, one. Rest. Good work. All right, slow open crunches. Same thing, 45. Here we go, dumbbell or not. Crunch it in, open it up, let's go. Good job, keep going, you got about 20 seconds left. Keep that control, good. If you need to keep the legs or the back on the ground, that's okay, go right here. Two, one, and rest. Whew. All right, twist. 45 seconds again, you're doing great. Come on. Here we go, two, one, and we're off. Keep your chest turning with that weight, okay? So make sure you're not here, all right? Like you're not just rowing a boat. You're taking it over here. I've got something for you over here as well, okay? Metaphors, right? The visuals sometimes help. 
like you're sharing the dumbbell to this side and to this side. Three, two, one, rest. Your last round, we go 60 seconds of each nonstop, okay? 60 seconds toe touch, right into. 60 seconds crunch, right into. 60 seconds twist. Ready, three, two, one, let's go. Remember, quality over quantity. Good. That's it, breathe, come on. You're right there, let's go, let's go. Come on, core challenge here at the end. You're over halfway through this minute. Let's go. Fifteen seconds. Right into your crunches in seven. Two, one. All right, right here. Let's stay on the ground. Open on the ground. And if you need to go out one leg, also fine. Good, come on. Last 30 right here. Almost done with abs and then we go to some arm isolation. Come on, 15 seconds. You're right there, go, 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 go. Seven. One more, four, three, two, one. Sit up and we twist. Don't worry about the arch, just tap. Right here, turn, pull turn. Good job, come on. Thirty seconds, and we're done with this one. Come on. Whew. Good job. Fifteen. You're right there. Good. Five, four, three, two. One. <sighs> okay, we've got a builder, okay? Builder to finish it out. We've got tricep kickbacks, bicep curls, and shoulder press. So that should start with our lightest weight, medium weight, heaviest weight, okay? 30 seconds, all three. So I'm gonna go 10, 15, and 20 for myself, okay? Let me get my 10s out here. Tricep kickbacks is your first weight. That's where I'm gonna go with my 10. Okay, bicep curls. Second weight, I'm going for 15. Shoulder press is the last one. I'm going for 20. Let's start with our kickbacks. Right here for 30 seconds. Three, two, here we go. 30 seconds right here. Good, lock those elbows out and keep the elbows high. In 15 seconds, you're gonna open it up for bicep curls, okay? Drop it down and switch. Nine, eight. Good, five, four, three, two, one. Drop and move up your weight. Let's go, 30 seconds right here. This is just round one, so if round two you want to adjust, that's fine, we've got three rounds. Keep the tension.
10 more seconds, you go right into shoulder press, just like this, okay? With a heavier weight, hopefully. Five, four, three, two, drop it down, shoulder press for 30, let's go. Good. 15 more seconds. Good, come on, eight, seven, four, three, two, one. 15 seconds, rest. And if you wanna pour more, pull more options out, let's do it. Same thing, round two. Triceps, biceps, shoulders. Ready, we go in five, two, one. Come on, push, push. You don't need to do any extra wrist flexion. So you take it back. You do not need to do this at the back. Okay, come on. 15, and then we go bicep curls. Figure out what weight you're gonna use. If you're going up, know where you're going from here. Seven. Three. Two. One. Down and go up. I'm gonna go 20s. Shoulders up, don't dip here, okay? 15, and we go shoulder press. Come on. Four, one more, three, two, one, drop it, shoulder press. Let's go. Come on, keep it moving. You're right there, let's go. 15. 8. 4. 3, 2, 1. 15 seconds, this is it. Last round. 30, 15 seconds rest. 30, 15 seconds rest, 30. That means you've got little breathers, Challenge yourself. Two, one, let's go, come on. Fifteen more seconds, come on. I'm gonna take the rest out of it. We're just gonna go right through, okay? We're going right through. Nine, eight, go to bicep curls in seven. Come on. Push, push, push. Two, one. Okay, curls, go right into it. Don't worry about that rest. We're at the end. You've got this. Come on, rep it out. Stronger us, right here. You and me. I'm pulling as hard as I can. I know you're doing the same. 14. Get ready for that last round of shoulder press. In eight, seven. Come on, two more curls, ready? One, last one, good. Drop it down, shoulder press, let's go. Everything you've got left, right here. 30 seconds, and you've made it. Go for it, go for it, 12. Nine, eight. Six, five, one more together. Three, two, one, and rest. You've made it to your cool down. Whew. Amazing job. Grab some water, have a seat. We gotta cool it down. You gotta feel good tomorrow. So don't leave me yet. Right leg out straight, left leg tucked in. All right, we are proud of ourselves. Right now, that was tough. Fold it right over your bent leg. That was tough. We are so proud of ourselves right now. Okay? That's the emotion we have. That's the thought process. Come on up, switch sides. You're not focusing on that was hard. Oh man, I had to drop down to my weights. 
I stumbled a couple times. Me too. And likely you didn't even notice because I kept going. That's what it's all about. Okay? All right, open it up. Fold forward, there we go. That's all that matters. You're gonna mess up along the way. We're gonna lose our balance. We're gonna trip over our mat, have to drop down in weights, need to modify some days. That's the journey. It's not always going to be, you know, positive, incline, everything's working out great. You're always feeling 100%. The journey is we just don't stop, okay? We just don't give up. Come on over to your hands and knees. So if I would've messed up, you saw me trip over my mat. Maybe you didn't see me. Okay, that's the point. That's the whole objective. Likely no one knows that you're swerving or modifying or what you're viewing as messing up. No one knows that, okay? You've gotta know it's not about perfection. It's about my promise to myself that I'm gonna keep going no matter what, okay? Tuck your toes down and lift your hips up. This journey is imperfect and it's meant to be imperfect. In my heart, I truly believe it is because that's where we find our stronger selves, battling through the tougher times, not just expecting them all to be great, knowing they're coming, knowing we're gonna battle through, walk back to your toes. That's where our new strength comes alive. That's where we discover strength inside of ourselves maybe you weren't aware of. Bend your knees, slowly come on up. Okay, so maybe the whole point of working out is unintentionally exposing yourself to your stronger self. Okay, and as we go, we continue to get stronger. So you're gonna continue to discover new, stronger versions of yourself. But maybe that's the whole journey, right? Maybe we dig deep, we fight through things here on the mat to prove to ourselves, I can do hard things here. Okay, I can battle through what I might be scared of, what I might be doubtful of, switch legs, and get through it. I'll just figure out a way how to, so that we can acknowledge, listen, that's possible in our real life too. In my head, that's 90% of the journey, okay? Stronger here is stronger there, where you are. So just take that in for a second, just breathe it in. What all did you overcome today to get to the mat? What all did you overcome before this workout to just show up? And then for 50 minutes, all you did was overcome. All you did was fight through and battle through and get through hard times, okay? So if you can show yourself for 50 minutes straight, you can do that. I know you can do this in another hard situation in your life, okay? That, to me, is the journey. That's life. All right, so as you leave here today, think about where else you're gonna be strong in your life because you prove it to yourself every single day. You are so capable of overcoming. You are so, so, so much stronger than you realize. And every day, I'm just helping you peel back the onion layers of your strongest self, helping you discover that inside of yourself each day. And as we work here, we do get stronger. So each day, you have a new version of yourself to discover, I'm a lot stronger than I thought, and I'm gonna keep pushing. So I want you to keep thinking of life that way. I figure out my strongest self every day. I meet, I introduce myself to my strongest self every single day, okay? And then tomorrow we'll do the same thing, but appreciate that strength here. Take it with you somewhere out there in your life, and we're gonna do that together as a worldwide team, okay? So thank you for letting me be your trainer. Thank you for training so hard today. I will see you back here tomorrow, but before you head out, make sure you crush that thumbs up button and subscribe to the channel. Comment below that you're here with me and where you're watching or working out from, and I'll see you back here tomorrow. Bye, guys. Watch me.